Today we're off to Germany and we are trying Hosting Pills! Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Jordy's Beer Reviews. Today we are looking at Holsten Pills from Germany, Hamburg. Um, let me have a reread of the can before I get into this. Hamburg, Germany, Holsten Pills. Pure brewing excellence. Premium lager. Premium lager brewed and canned in the UK by Carlsberg UK Limited in Northampton. 500 milliliters and... 5% alcohol. Look at that can, right? I, I've had this before. I've had it before. And I've absolutely, absolutely love it. I love it. It's really good. And there's a can there. It's, a, it's, it's, it's pretty cool. Nice looking can. Um, green, yellow can, blah, blah, blah. It looks, bro looks brilliant. But, it's not always about the can, is it? It's about the actual beer inside of the can, isn't it? So, let's get the gap open! If I can get it fucking open. Sometimes you need, you need two hands to open the fucking can because sometimes the wee tab thing can be a stubborn prick, so you need to actually use two hands to open it. There you go, guys, that's in the glass. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So, <laughs> basically, massive head. Uh, very well carbonated, light gold appearance. Very well carbonated, as you can see in the glass. Um, thick white fluffy head. Three finger white head. Da -da. Let's get more of the guy into the glass. Okay, so this is ho hosting pills, guys. Um, I've had this beer before. Yeah, I have. I've had it before. I've had it before quite a few times, and every time I've had it, absolutely loved it. No issue with the beer at all. It's it's fine. It's five percent. Hosting pills, five percent Pilsner lager. Um, very smooth, very kind of sweet, kind of tasty, kind of beer. If I remember, that's what I'm remembering. <sighs> just go done it. Just, just came back for cycling there. <sighs> came back with cycling um, about my area and decided, fuck it, come back and have a beer. I had a beer before I went cycling, obviously, but um, I was cycling there and then came back to my house and wanted another beer. Let's just top this guy up a wee bit. There we go. So, back just back from cycling, guys. I want a beer. And this guy here, hosting pills, was in the fridge. So I was like, you know what, fuck it, I'll do a review then. I'll just do a review. <clears throat> get away, get the rest of the can in there. So, very fluffy head. Like the head, the head has actually stayed intact for so long. Look at that, it's so fluffy. White, thick, white, fluffy head. White, gold appearance. Very see through. Um, yeah, that's all I can really say. See if that guy is in the camera. Yeah, it is. And see if I'm in camera as well. Okay, let's go for the aroma. I am such an idiot. I fucking, I went to go for the aroma and I ended up sniffing up bubbles. I put bubbles everywhere. Right. 
Guys, Hosts and Pills, very queer looking like a light gold, carbonated very well, white fluffy head, very white fluffy head, which stays intact. Um, what else can I say about this guy? I'll read the back. Ingredients, water, malted barley, glucose syrup, hops, pure brewing excellence, Premium lager, premium lager brewed in, in canned in the UK, blah, blah, blah. Why is it brewed in the UK? It should be brewed in Germany. But, the head is still there. The head stayed intact. Right, do you know what? Let's just go with the taste and smell, guys, because this is also a really good beer and I really want to dive in. I really want to dive in. So, cheers. Oh, shit, aroma. You're getting a kind of sweet malty kind of aroma. A kind of sweet malty aroma. Maybe a little bit bready. But that's all I can find from the aroma. Let's go for the taste. Cheers, everybody, for watching. Thank you for watching Slangiva. Mm. Oh yeah, that's good. That's good. So your your first your first starting off when you first drink it, the first kind of notes slash flavors you get is kind of like a sweet, crispy kind of malty kind of taste. So it's very refreshing, man friend. So it's very refreshing when you first dive in. You get a, a kick of sweet. You get a, a sweet, malty kind of kick. And um, it's very well carbonated as well. There's hops present. Um, but it's all smooth. It's not like... It's not like... Um, sorry, I, I'm trying to compare it to another beer here. I know this is a different kind of beer, but Brudel Punk IPA um, screams out with with what flavours and stuff and it's really hoppy and really bitter and stuff like that but I'm not really a fan of Punk IPA that much I'm more of a fan of this because it's smooth it's not shouting at you it's not trying to be a good beer Brewdog the, the beer mm, compare it to Punk IPA or something in fact what else can I compare it to well it's a pills now the last but the fuck happened there the last pose that I had was Cronbacher Pills, and I've done a review of it on here, and I loved it. Um, should I compare it to this? Um, if I was to compare Cronbacher to Holson Pills, I would say Holson Pills is a little bit, is a bit more sweeter, but it's a, it, it, it's a lot more crisp. Um, yeah. So it's a kind of sweet, very crisp, very refreshing pulse now. Let me have one more. I need a bottle. Right, let's have another wee taste of this, guys. So when you first dive in, you're getting a kind of sweet, kind of malty kind of taste. But that's it. It's not overpowering, it's smooth, it's there. It's in the background. It's not exactly screaming out at you. Like, if you find with a punk IP or something, you'll get hops, you'll get malt, you'll get boom. This guy is more on the smooth side. Um, It's a lot more smooth. It's, it, it's not exactly complex. It's smooth, malty, sweet, crisp, refreshing beer. Um, It's not overly sweet. It's not like powerfully sweet, but as kind of the, the sweetness is obvious with it. Um, it's not overpowered in any way. It's 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 very smooth. Um, I can't think of any reason to fuck this beer. <laughs> I 
I'll just get my, 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 my final score, guys. I'll go on with another smell, another taste, and then I'll give you a cheers, and then that I'll wrap it up. That is so good. That is so good. That is. They can't fucking done an Olympic sport there. Where is it? Horse and pose. This guy is uh, 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 it's, it's, it's good. It's good. It's smooth. It's sweet. We sweet malty, but it's it doesn't even matter. But it's sweet malty. The sweet and malty is there, but it's more crisp and refreshing than it is malty. It's very very light. Um, it's crisp. It's refreshing. It will it will refresh you if you're if you're outside in the garden with a barbecue or something and you've got a cold beer you've got a cold wholesome pills next to you you're laughing because that stuff is good that stuff is really good guys this stuff is brilliant honestly it's brilliant if I told if, if, I, if I thought a beer was shit I would tell you it was shit but this is this is fucking amazing beautiful absolutely beautiful it's smooth it's it's a smooth drinking, crispy, refreshing pilsner. Let's go on with one more wee aroma, one more wee taste, and then I'll wrap this review up, guys. Yeah. It's fine. It's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. It's extremely smooth. It's extremely smooth. So when you first dive in, it just tastes so smooth. It tastes... Do you want to know what? Do you want to know what that reminds me of? It reminds me of Miller Genuine Draft in a way. It does. It does. It reminds me of, it reminds me of Miller, Miller Genuine Draft in a way. Um, I've not got Miller Genuine Draft there, but... <laughs> Another review about the can. It falls. Um, I've not got a bottle of Miller Genuine Draft there, but I do. So I had one of these guys and reviewed it. It tastes a wee bit with this. It tastes slightly with Miller. It's it's as smooth as Miller. But right. Um, let's just go with the 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 final score, guys, and then we'll wrap this review up. But honestly. Host and Pills is honestly really, really good. It, it, it's really good. It's good. It's a smooth beer. It's a smooth drinking, crisp, refreshing Pilsner. Which is exactly what you're looking for when you want to buy a Pilsner. Um, I remember I done a review on Crombacker Pills. Crombacker Pills! And... Yeah. It's a little like that, in the crisp sense, but it's a lot more smoother than Kronbacher, and, and it's a bit more sweeter than Kronbacher. Um, okay guys, I'm going to give this my final score. I'm just going to go in with another wee whiff, another, another wee drink, and give you my final score. <sighs> Basically kind of sweet malt. Taste. When you're drinking it, it's crisp, it's refreshing, it's extremely smooth, like extremely smooth, like it's so so smooth. Um, you're getting hit with bit, you're getting hit with sorry, not bitterness, you're getting hit with crispiness. It's really crisp, refreshing. Um, it's really crisp and refreshing. And it's really smooth. There's a smooth kind of sweet, malty kind of taste there. But it's really crisp and refreshing. It's more crisp 
and refreshing than multi. Beautiful. Mm. Yeah, that's good. That is good, guys. It is, it's good. It's very good. It's very good. Okay, guys, I think I'm going to give my final score on that, and I think I'm going to drink the rest of this beer and give my final score. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Final score time. Holston Peels from Germany, Hamburg. Hamburg, Germany, Holston Peels since 1879. Pure brewing excellence. So that's the can, guys. Yellow green. Yellow, green, what the hell do I mean? Okay, let's drink this, this guys. I'll just I'll just finish this, this holding pills in the camera for you guys. Smell kind of sweet, sweet kind of, it's malt, malt, sweet malt kind of smell. And the taste is very crisp, refreshing, and you get hit with a smooth taste. So I can cheers myself if I'm ever lonely. <laughs> Sorry. So when you first drink it, you're getting... It's very, very, very crisp and fizzy. It's fizzy. It's crisp. Um... And then you're getting hit with that kind of like sweet malt undertone that's that's hiding there, but you can find it. You can find it. With all this crispness, is, there's crispness going on, there's carbonation going on, it's going, whoa, but in the background, there's this kind of malty kind of taste. Sweet malty kind of taste. But it's absolutely amazing. When I say sweet malty taste, I don't mean overpowering. I mean like, it's there, it's smooth, it's there. There's no shouting at you, it's just, hey, I'm here, kind of thing. Uh, that's all I can say about that, man. I'll give it another wee... I'll do the rest of this and then just say, Sanjay, so to you guys, and honestly, Holes and Pills is good. It's good, guys. Holes and Pills is a, is a, is, it's a good beer to go to. Honestly, if I thought a beer was shit, I would tell you. Is this beer shit? No, it's not shit. Not in any way. No, 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 no. This is a fucking perfect beer. It's perfect. Pilsner, sorry. Um, one more wee dinner is. Mm. Yeah, it's white, it's crisp, it's refreshing. It's sweet, we sweeten away. Kick a malt. Very malt. Well, well, the malt is there, but it's not as it's not as pure as the sweetness or the crispiness. <laughs> it's smooth. It's not complex. It's very, 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 very smooth. Um, what else do I want to say about this beer? <clears throat> I think... In a few years, in the United Kingdom, we might not be able to get this anymore. That's what I'm thinking right now. Um, I'm extremely, I'm, ex I'm, I, I'm extremely happy that we get Holes and Pulse here in the UK right now. Because this beer is a winner. It's a winner. Um, but, I think, I think they're going to stop production of it. Because that happens with quite a few beers. Like, in Asda, I used to be able to get a, I used to, you, you, in Asda you can get this, you used to be able to get this, you can't get it in Asda anymore, um, in Asda you used to get Miller as well, which you can't get anymore, I don't know what the fuck is going on there, I don't know, 
If you work in retail, tell me down below. Um, final score, guys. For, for Holes and Pills, Jordy's Beer Reviews, let me give this a score. What do I rate Holes and Pills out of 10? I'll give it a 9 out of... Mm, aye, I'll give it a 9 out of 10. Holes and Pills gets a 9 out of 10 because it's, it's absolutely amazing. It's, it's, it's really good. It's one of my favourite beers. 9 out of 10 from Jordi's Beer Reviews for Holsten Pils Pilsner from Germany, Hamburg. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. I tried to cross that, but that never worked with Boom! Oh, it's a beer! <laughs> hey, guys. Catch you guys in the next video if you are done. That was 9 out of 10 for Hosts and Pills. Thank you for watching very much. Thank you for watching. Cheers for watching. Cheers for subscribing and liking the video. I will catch you guys in the next video review. you. What is the next video review? Hmm. I have no fucking idea. Bye!